you know, we have peer pressure in schools and all of that. Persons are being influenced to do this and do that. Even our young girls these days, you know, they're influenced by others. You know, you're in a school and if you have one little boyfriend and all of these things. And, you know, I looked at it the other day, my, my 12-year-old daughter, she said to me, Mommy, I'm going to say something to you. And she said, I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to text it to you. And, you know, she texts me and she said to me, she, I'm hearing her and she's right there, but she just don't want to talk. And then she said, Mommy, is it okay to have boyfriend in high school? And I said, what? 12-year-old. And she's wondering if it's okay to have boyfriend in high school. And... You know, before I even respond to her, I'm in a group with my, my friends at work, and you know, I said to them, help me on this one. I don't know how to respond on this one, because we can't respond in an aggressive way, because they don't call for an aggression. This calls for a reason, because how many girls these days is going to mention something like that to their parents? You know, they will just follow their friends and go ahead and do it. And I was just saying, God, I'm say, all right then. And she said, you know, Mr. Arden, you know, we can't text. Me and you go need to talk. And, you know, we run out of Aiden out of the house, and Mr. Arden, a few time now. And, you know, I have to really sit down, and I, and I have to really talk to her, draw some references of some other young girls that I know being pregnant. And, you know, the first thing I said to her, there are persons that's going to tell you that you're stupid if you don't have no boyfriend. You're idiot and all of these things. You're old man if you don't have no boyfriend. Because that's, that's a new thing when they might come with now if you say you're old man or you're idiot if you don't have no boyfriend. But I told her that it's quite okay that you don't have any boyfriend in high school. I said, do like mommy. Don't have any boyfriend. And you know, she said, she said, you're not even, we have not even one boyfriend in high school. You know, <laughs> that to her is unbelievable. But when I looked at it, I was just grateful that she came and she spoke with me. And at the end of the conversation, you know, she said to me, mommy, I didn't say I was going to do it. And I, I see other persons doing it, but I was just wondering if it's wrong or it is right. And I said to her, it's not your time as yet. When you're old and out of school, education time, you know, and all of that. And then at the end of the conversation, she said, Mommy, I enjoy this little chat. Give me a high five. And I gave her a high five, you know, and she said, you know, when boys come to me, can't say to them, so I mean, I have no time for your education time now. So I was just grateful that... She came to me, saints of God, you know, just to get the good influence and not the bad influence. Because even in church, you know, saints of God, we know that Christians even are being influenced by the world. Whenever we see somebody coming these, through these doors, we don't know their needs. That's why we always have to present Jesus. We have our sister here, has been here since Sunday school. And we're thankful to God that at the end of the service, she has decided to make Jesus her choice. I know, therefore, baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you too shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Not the Who is right here? Who invited this young man? Just invite him to service. And he kept on coming until he started to ask questions in Bible study. He was here on Thursday night and expressed his desire to recommit his life to the Lord. We ministered to him and let him understand what the doctrine is and here he is today. I want to say, let's put hands together. 
I want to say, it doesn't matter what I thought, it doesn't matter what anybody has said, it all started by an invitation. Yes. Everybody hear me? Praise God. Let me say this again, the young lady that just came out of the pool is also one of her visitors that she invited. That's two. Am I talking to you? There's power Hallelujah. in an invitation. Amen. I know, therefore, baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you too shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Not many of these heads. Hold on, hold on. 